Hey folks, welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. My name is Kess, and today we're gonna learn how to add multiple links to your Instagram bio. Now, if you're like me, one link is never enough. I wanna link to my website, my demo reel, my other social media platforms. I find that one link is very limiting and it's really difficult to choose one. So this platform called Linktree will allow you to do just that and it is 100% free. Now there is a paid version, but right now we're just gonna learn how to do the free version. And if you wanna purchase a paid version, that's on you. But I really find that the free version serves me for what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google Chrome browser here. And you can find the link to this website in the description of the video. So you'll come to this site and um, I'm gonna just press get started for free. Okay, so now it's gonna ask you to fill in this information and I'm gonna do this really quick. All right, now that that's done, I'm just gonna hit register. Okay, for a name, it's gonna be the name on top of your Linktree account. I'm just gonna put my full name. And you can fill in these categories as well. No, I am not a robot. And save details. Okay, now it's gonna ask you to select a plan. Now you can always go the pro version later on. It's only $6 a month, but I'm just gonna continue with the free version because again, I really think it's good enough for what I need it for. Thanks for signing up to verify your account. Click on the link sent to your inbox. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and verify my email right now. Your account has been verified. Press continue. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add new links to this profile. So I'm gonna start off by clicking add new link. I can enter a title. So I'm gonna put my website here first. So I'm gonna put website. I'm gonna put my URL. And it'll show up right here. I'm gonna add a couple more links here. Great, so I added three links to the platform. And the great thing is, is that you can just move them around by clicking here. So you can move around the order. So if I want website to be first, Maybe YouTube second, and Instagram last. There's some premium functions here that you can go under. And again, you have to pay for it if you want it, but go through them, see if it's useful for you and maybe the subscription might be worth it to you. Oh, one cool thing I wanna show you is that if you click this button here, it shows you the link analytics so you can see how many times people have clicked that link. It kind of helps you gauge, you know, which links are doing better than others. Now that I'm happy with my links, I'm gonna go into appearance. And I'm gonna customize the profile picture and the theme. So let's start by picking an image. And it looks like you can crop it if you want to. Mine is a perfect square, so it kind of fits perfectly. Okay, press upload. Okay, that looks great. And you can kind of see how it looks in the preview bar. Let's go into themes. So there's a lot of funky themes in here. It looks like these ones are seasonal because this one says New Year's, these are Christmassy. So I'm not sure these are gonna stay on forever, but you can play around with them. All you have to do is click it and you can see how it looks. Now my company name might be You Want Pizzazz, but I prefer to go simpler on the themes here. For You Want Pizzazz, this is a good theme just a nice blue gradient, but there's also some more simple ones. The snow theme is good if you want it just a black and white, smoke, noir. Again, there are premium themes that you have to purchase to unlock. Oh, and if you go down here, you can even, you can customize it even further, add your own custom background, customize the buttons. But again, these are all if you pay for it, so. Again, that's up to you if that's what you want to do. So I'm just going to switch it to the spray theme because I think that's the best one for my current brand. And that's about it. You're pretty much finished. If you want to see a preview, I'm just going to go ahead and open this. So this is what it'll look like on a web browser. And I'm going to quickly pull it up on Instagram so you can see how it looks. Thanks so much for watching folks and if you found it useful please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, the support really means a lot. At You Want Pizzazz we do Adobe tutorials so if you're into Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, this is the channel to follow. Have a great day folks!